Hi, kindergarten. Yesterday we read about clouds, so today we're going to read about sunny. It's called sunny. Pretty awesome. Well, it's also starting us at the end of the book, so I'm going to have to zoop, 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 bring us all the way back to the beginning. Now this is a very simple introduction to the phenomenon of sunshine when it optimally occurs and the weather patterns associated with it by Muniata Rogers. Here we go. You ready? Sunny. Why do you think she's doing that with her hand on the cover? Yeah, she doesn't want to get the sun in her eyes. She's trying to see. The sky is clear. The air is warm. It is a lovely, sunny day. The sun shines through some palm trees. Do you see the sun right there that's peeking through the trees? The sun is about 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers away. Its rays cross all those millions of miles to send heat and light to the Earth. Remember, Earth is the third planet from the sun. So the sunlight is shining on Earth. The sun powers ocean currents. It makes the wind. Even rain begins with a sunny day. Rainbows happen when sunlight hits raindrops. Did you know that? Wow. Rain comes from Earth's water. The, heat, the sun heats water into a gas. The gas rises into the sky and cools. It condenses into water droplets that form clouds. So you see the water is condensing over a lake. That's what makes this look super foggy. Okay? It's the water being converted into gas and rising up to the sky. Water. Oops. <laughs> I clicked on the vocabulary word. The droplets get bigger and fall as rain. The rainwater flows into rivers, lakes, and oceans. The sun warms the water, and the cycle begins again. So some areas of the world get more rain than others. Can you believe it, though? Water starts out down in the water. It rises up because of the sunlight. It turns into clouds. The droplets get bigger and bigger, and then they come down as rain, and it happens all over again. Sunny days grow Earth's plants. Plants make energy from the sun. Animals eat the plants. Other animals eat the plant eaters. All life on Earth can trace its energy back to sunshine. So like all plants, corn needs sunlight to grow. Sunny places can use the sun for power. Solar cells and solar power plants turn sunshine into electricity. So solar cells can be big or small. Here's an example of what it looks like. You might have heard solar panels before, too. But that turns sunlight into energy and electricity. That is so cool. Sunny days aren't always good. A drought occurs when a place does not receive enough rain. During a drought, plants might die. There may not be enough water to drink. So droughts can happen all over the world. And you see down here, the ground is cracking because it's really dry. Place. Place. Here we go. Time in the sun is good for us, but too much sun can mean a sunburn. Sunscreen prevents sunburn by blocking the sun's rays. So be sure to put on sunscreen before going to the beach because it can burn your skin and it can be painful. Where do you have fun in the sun? The beach, the park, you may be playing, but the sun is hard at work. There are so many things to do in the sunshine. Great job. That was a pretty cool book. We learned a lot about what the sun does. Don't forget to click on the exit ticket below. See you later, kindergarten.